Let's stick with the NFL, George. And we've talked about this with our callers, Randy Mueller. But the Jonathan Taylor situation. Now, Randy Mueller, former executive of the year in the NFL, he said that he be surprised. He doesn't think there's a market for Jonathan Taylor. And I got to be honest, I, I think Jonathan Taylor is great. But I tend to agree that there is not – I don't think there's going to be much of a market. Now, the reports are that six teams are talking with him, uh, with the Colts, uh, that two have already made offers. Are they up to what the Colts are talking about, a first rounder or the equivalent, you know, a couple of seconds or a second and a third or whatever? Um, but I just think that when you look at the way running backs have been treated – this offseason, George, as good as Jonathan Taylor is, he's coming off an injury. Last year, he he's still young, you know, but his production, and I know some of it maybe he was injured, but his production is not what it was two years ago or even his rookie year as far as yards per carry. But still, four and a half yards, you'll take that. Um, but in addition to the injury, there's the question. He's going to want a contract extension. That's, That's the whole the, problem in so, Indianapolis. And if 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 you trade for him and don't give him the extension, which I don't think a team would be willing to do, no. just looking at the climate, then you're going to inherit the same problem that Indianapolis is having, which is a disgruntled running back. The issue with this trade is, like, there, there's multifaceted. First of all, Indianapolis – doesn't want to trade him. They're not going to trade him. If yeah, they, if I, I agree with Rand. Don't you? Do you think it's the Lamar Jackson thing? That's what I think it is. Like, go yeah, out there if, and see, because see what's out if there. They're There's expecting, nothing different than we're talking. See the the, uh, the 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 first issue is this, Chris. Is if you want a first round pick for Jonathan Taylor, that means that you believe he's not a good running back, but a great running back. Like an Adrian Peterson, Derrick Henry, yeah. like a great running back. He's a he's and, he was great t- two years ago. Yes. but that's one year. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is that if you want a first round pick for him, that's what you're saying. And then the problem is if you think this guy is worth a first round pick, why won't you pay him? That's number one. And the second thing is, but don't you think? Let's stop there quickly. Cause I want your opinion. I think a lot of that is the position he plays. I mean, it, the absolute it, Chris, best Chris, it aren't getting matter. paid it, anymore. Chris, it no, wouldn't it, it, matter. It would there, because he's a running back. Derrick Henry, Christian McCaffrey, Ty Gurley, the last guy, Ezekiel Elliott, the last guys to get big money. That I don't know that they would get that now. No, Maybe no, no, Henry Derrick, no, no, because Derrick, he was he is unique. Derrick and Henry their is offense a was built around him. Derrick Henry is okay, a Hall of Fame player. That's one. Adrian Peterson. Now, and I'm, I, and now Adrian's that's where, gone, and that was a long no, 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 time no, no, ago. I mean, I'm, we I'm saw dudes getting that paid you, three, that four to get years paid ago. In the, even in this era, if you run into a Hall of Fame caliber running back, those guys are still going to get paid. But the problem I, is, I don't know. hold on, here, here's the problem. Josh Jacobs last year carried the ball 340 times for 1,653 yards, for at 4.9 yards carry. The problem is the wins above replacement. That's the issue. When you have guys like Travis Etienne, who is on his rookie deal, averaging 5.1 yards a carry on only 220 carries, you got uh, Aaron Jones splitting carries, averaging more yards per carry over 1,000 yards. Tony Pollard, a lot of guys. Tyler Algier, R- Ramon J. Stevenson, Damian Pierce. The is the issue is is that the from the guys who were at the top of the rushing list, from the guys who were at 11, 1200 yards who were splitting time, there's not as big of a drop off. Now, Derek let, Henry, let me, two, let me three make years it, let ago, me make it real plain. Let me make it real plain. Clear that best, there was a drop off. Best for running, just running backs in the league. Chubb, uh, Henry, Derek Henry, Nick Chubb, Derek Henry, Jonathan Taylor, Josh Jacobs. None of them made the playoffs. And the year Taylor, two years ago when Taylor led the league in rushing, they didn't make the playoffs yep. in Indianapolis. Yep. Now, McCaffrey, yes, but he's a lot of receiving from McCaffrey too. And he's on yep. a stacked team. So, 
he wasn't leading Carolina anywhere. Nope. And that's the difference is that is is that the the difference between the guys who are at the top of the running back list, and I'm going to take Derrick Henry out of that because he's getting older at this point. So right, and, and he's a Hall of Fame caliber player. So I'm going to take him out of there. All the rest of the running backs in the league at this point, none of them appear to be quote unquote Hall of Fame car- ca- caliber player. Nick Chubb is the best one out of all of them. And when and now when you go to a different position. When you go from a top tier player at defensive end, we're talking, you know, uh, MVP, d- defensive MVP in Bosa to a middle tier player, you, you, you're you going to fall off from 20 some right. sacks to like five or right. six. There's a bigger drop off to that. At wide receiver, well, let me ask you this, there's a bigger the drop off from the greats the, in the league right. to the middle tier guys. The talk is that a Miami should go for him, which look or a Dallas. And here's I'll say briefly, Miami is going to run I, I running back thought. by committee anyway, right? And that's what see Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson Jr. Yes, not as good as Jonathan Taylor, but to your point, you brought up earlier, those dudes will give you over five yards a carry. They do. Mostert's done that everywhere. Last year with San Francisco, at least, Wilson did it. Both of those guys, Wilson's not quite as good as Mostert, but both of those guys helped San Francisco get to the Super Bowl a few years ago with Jimmy G as the quarterback, and they were running the ball and getting yardage. So is Miami going to break the bank for give up picks and give – Jonathan Taylor, the huge deal when they got two guys, they're a pass first offense. They're going to be throwing it on the outside and they're running backs. That'll open things up for their running backs. So I think those guys will be able to run. The other team is Dallas. You're hearing people talk about them. They got Tony Pollard. They like the backups, you know, uh, Rico, uh, uh, Dowdell and, and Deuce Vaughn. I, they got a great offensive line. I kind of think they got enough. I would like to see Taylor in Buffalo because I think that would take some pressure off of uh, Josh Allen, which is what they need. But I don't, again, I don't see them breaking the bank. I, I just don't know that it's out there for them. You, so you would have to give up a, a, a second round pick or a third and a fourth or a third and a fifth for Jonathan Taylor and then turn around and pay him I mean, how much is he going to accept? A team is going to, you know what they're going to want to do. You know. I'm giving if, him. If he, whatever team he's with this year, what is that team going to want to do with him next year? Franchise. Franchise tag. He can what run I, for 2,000 yards. They what I would do to a, a young player like Jonathan Taylor. Now, he's not near 27 yet, 28. I would give him a three-year deal. At fourteen, fifteen million dollars, fully guaranteed, and that's it. Like, like, like. Wait, fourteen, fifteen per year? Yes. Like, I'm, I'm not like, giving who, you or, but, that, but, but, I, but, I, but I might be like that. twelve, who's get, thirteen. Who's getting that nowadays? No, Josh I'm, Jacobs didn't get I'm it. I'm saying if, if I believe, I do not believe that Josh Jacobs is as good as Jonathan Taylor or Nick Chubb. Chubb so, didn't so, get that. Now I get it. So it was a few years ago, but so I'm just saying that that if I'm looking at a guy like Chubb, right, and Chubb's up, I would give Chubb three years, fourteen, fifteen million, and but but I can get out of but the, the the first two years would be fully guaranteed, and I can get out of the third year for nothing and not 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 even a hit against. I the think salary if, I think if you're a top running back in this market, you jump at that. I think you jump at it. Now, let me ask you this. You were a tight end. Do you – the future of the running backs as far as the money, like, I, I just – it's unfortunate, and, and we always think of running back as a glamour position because that's what it was when we were coming up. But there always have been positions where the guys didn't get paid that much. And now it's running back. Fullback has – virtually disappeared 
That used to be a position. And yeah, it, it used to be. You know what I mean? Yes. It, it used to actually be a position called fullback. It's pretty much disappeared now. You know what I mean? Like and I'm I I it would be nice if they make different rules for the running backs. Hey, you can get out of your rookie deal after your second year or something like that. But that's not likely for one position. Do you think it's just hey, it used to be centers and guards that didn't get paid. Well, now it's the running back. We supposed to cry over that? Is where are you at on it? The game is changing, Chris. Yeah. The game is changing, and you can't be upset with the with the evolution of the game. Because you can wear all the T-shirts, make fullbacks great again all you want to. The game is evolving. And, and, and it doesn't mean that running backs are not valuable. They are very valuable. Right. From the box. The difference is, is that their, their value – is is a little bit more short lived, and if you're a running back now, you got to make yourself a Christian McCaffrey running back or a Travis Etienne running back, right? And not a traditional. You have to be part wide wide receiver, right? That way you can extend your career. It's it it's almost but like even in that. The, like remember Kareem Hunt, and I say remember like he you know, like he's old. He's twenty seven. Yeah. He's not it's on the almost, it, right now. Hey, Chris, it's almost like in the in the NBA. Ten years ago, you used to be able to be, you know, uh Haywood, or you used to be able to be Rudy uh Roy Roy Hibbert. And just and, and right. find Charles a place. Oakley. Yeah. Yeah, and yep. find a place on, on the floor. Or even JaVel McGee. But well, now but still brought some value. Yeah, yeah. But but exactly. I'm talking about and get big time minutes. If you are a big man now and you can't and and especially if you want to play the four and you can't stick a 15 footer, it's gonna right. be tough on you. Look at look, look at Sabonis, who's a really good player. He got exposed in the playoffs because he couldn't stick a 15 footer. Yeah, but he that boy's still balling. He he, he is, balling. but he, he ain't but in that category. Them cats you was talking. Yeah, about. but the he, limitations he's are legit. are are there, and and it's a bonus now. I guarantee you, all off season, he's sticking that fifteen footer because you can't win like that anymore. And if you can't win like that anymore, then the then the game is going to change around you. So you have to adjust to it, and the running backs have to adjust to it if they want to get paid. Yeah, no, nah, we, we want to keep it here because I want to ask you a few questions. And you, I mean, like you said, you have a son that plays football, big-time football player, quarterback. I want to ask you a little bit more about this running back situation. All right, uh, this is what I wanted to ask you, George, because like you said, you have a son that's now a senior in high school, plays quarterback, looks like he'll play at the Division One level. Congratulations on that. Um. Do you think now, because when you when I was coming up for sure, and I'd even say when you were coming up, the best, most athletic players, where'd they play on offense? The fastest guys. Running back. Running back, wide receiver, even, but it was mainly running back. Right, Who mainly running back. Shifty? You didn't throw yeah. as much in that and in, in, in high school, yep. you know. My position got switched because of that. I was a quarterback. My 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 coach now you, in high school. What'd you play in? What'd you end up? So they switched you from quarterback to what? Uh, I played wide out. I played running back. I played. I played everywhere. <laughs> um, defensive end, outside line <laughs> linebacker was everything. And it was the and, George and, Rice to show up in there. And my That's coach's right. rationale was, I'm not putting my best player at quarterback. And that was because that was how the game was played and now, how they now wanted. right now they would they yes. would probably leave now they're like I'm putting my best player I'm putting my best player who can make good decisions and get me out of trouble at quarterback that's who I want right. with the ball in his hands at all times so let, this is what I want to ask you do you think not only that the best athletes won't be playing running back anymore for the most part but that they actually they won't even want to play running back. Like if you're a great player, and look, only it's one quarterback. Only so many guys can play quarterback. Yep. So do you think they're gonna be more going to receiver, quarterback and receiver, just like the NFL? Or do you think they'll still, at least at the high school level, be playing running back? And maybe they get switched 
maybe in college or something. They're going to try to play wide wide receiver, but the but the problem is is with running backs. There's usually some physical limitations on that. They're usually about you know five nine, five eight, five nine, and and they're built right. like little little uh little fire fire hydrants. Right, little like Deuce Vaughn is like five six, isn't he? Uh, the yeah, back up yeah. for the so, Cowboys. So there are some physical things that put you in certain positions, but it's your job, just like just like in in, in basketball. If you have a son who's seven feet tall. It's it's your fault as a as a parent or as a coach if he can't dribble the ball and do all of those other things because people will just stick him in the post, tell him to rebound and all that stuff. So if your son is a right. running back, you have to make him a pass catching threat. He has to be able to do both. And now people will well, try also, to play wide might, out. You might play at a school where the, you don't have a great quarterback. Correct, and y'all run the ball more. You know what I mean? Yeah, but there's and you're off-season play running back. Yeah, but there's great. off-season training. There's all of this right, stuff. Right, other stuff. And, you gotta and, go through. and when you get to college, though, the 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 hard part is is that guys go to college all the time and they think that they're going to play one spot, and then the coaches identify early. They're like, oh, he's cool there, but he might be right. better here. And right. players are going to do whatever it takes to get on the field. So if you are a so if your options are be a backup wide receiver or be an NFL caliber running back even though it may not be the most glamorous or you may not have the longest career or get paid as much, much as you want to you can still make a very nice living. You're going to be a running back. Yes. I agree. Like, I, I thought you were going to go the other yeah, like way. Josh like, Josh Jacobs is going to make at least like, no. 30 million dollars. Right. In, in in his career, well, and that's the thing, like with jo- with uh, Jonathan Taylor, and and he, I get it, he is worth more, relatively speaking, than the four million dollars he's making now. But to re- to me, like you he's can't on his even rookie think deal, about though, too. You can't even think about sitting out because you could get the four million this year, and then next year, yes, they'll probably franchise. Yeah, you can't sit out, but that's still ten million dollars, like. I'm sorry. Wait, where's where are you getting that money? If you're you don't not want to play, else. so go ahead and get that. I get it. You're not making what you know so and so is making, but you know what? I'm not making what Stephen A. Smith is making. Yep. But I'm doing all right. Stop <laughs> counting other people's money. Right. That's I'm the, just if, right. If, right. If, hey, think think about how un, un unhappy that you would be if you were counting if 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 you were sitting up here on the odd couple. On first things first, and and sitting and sitting here saying, <laughs> "Oh money. man, I'm not making Colin, Colin Coward money. I'm not making Stephen A. money. How miserable and silly nah, would you, you be?" You right, you right, and that's where the backs are. And again, I get it, but like you said, man, the game has changed just like basketball has, and baseball's even changed, and it's just it is what it is for the running backs. I hope it turns around. But I don't know. We'll have it's, to wait. It's and not see. going to turn around. It is. You don't think like ever because we've no. had guys say, "Oh, it's cyclical." It, but you're probably right. I mean, I because no, here's it's the not deal. cyclical. Was Clyde, As Clyde the, Edwards Hilaire, who I love, yeah, coming loved out of LSU. Him at LSU, loved him. I thought it was a great pick by the Chiefs. I did too in the first round, right? But guess what? He got beat out by a seventh rounder from Rutgers, and that's back. the problem. With and they the, won the Super Bowl. That's the problem with the running back position is that you can get a guy in the draft or a second or third year player for way right. less that'll give you like 90 percent of what the yep. of what the guy who you would be paying 15 times the amount for i mean literally nah, that's you're right that is you are absolutely right that is and the at problem. the other positions that's not the case it's damn sure not the case at quarterback at wide receiver it's not because right. it, you look at the Justin Jeffersons, the uh, Jamar Chases, uh, yeah, yeah. Diggs, no, and all uh, Tyreek Hill, Waddle. There ain't too many dudes who can do that. Right? No, you're right. Remember Philip, uh, the guy for the the Denver, Philip Lindsay. Yep. Remember that first yes. two years, undrafted, undrafted, rushed for a thousand over a thousand yards his first two years. Like, I mean, it, that's the problem. 
Alvin Kamara was a third round pick. Kareem Hunt was a third round pick. Yep. Like yep. It, it, it is. And now what it both. Is. And now Kareem. And now uh, the uh, the uh, contract for Alvin Kamara don't look that great right now. No, he didn't play great last year. You know what? Ezekiel Elliott, obviously his game. You that know, was the one. All in all. That was the one that did that it. That was well. It did. It, it smart. Look, that dude. God bless him. Yeah, he was he special. got his money. Yes, he well, did. Well, he was special, but you know what I'm saying? Like, he got his money. He he's a he's probably the last one to get the huge money. Yes. You know, you know who he should thank for that? Emmett Smith. Because remember, Emmett Smith yeah. held out and right. the Cowboys tanked. Yeah. And then the all of a sudden games, Jerry Jones had to give in to him. Right. And then the same thing happened with Ezekiel That's Elliott. He was, he was like, I'm not going to let this happen like, again. Right, exactly. I got a championship. And Ezekiel right. Elliott is $70 million in. Woo-wee. $70 million. You ain't – there. The it'll only long, running back – Who knows when another running back yeah, will get – I mean, the, it, it, the, uh. the last running back – so it's Ezekiel Elliott to even get even near that. We're talking Ezekiel Elliott, McCaffrey and then you got, got Adrian what, Peterson, and then nobody else. <laughs> McCaffrey got what sixty four? Yes, that's I don't know it. If he was after or before? Yeah, they they not getting that. All right, 